I am Paul Marsh, and today I want to talk about Easy Road 3D. It's an asset for Unity that allows you to create road type structures within a terrain based project. And today, specifically, I want to talk about your P project and how to add some of the additional types of roads. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be a railway train track. So I've created a project here and what I've got is the Easy Roads Pro V3 that's already installed. I've added the Easy Roads Pro HD add-on so that gives us the um, additional renderers for HD and URP. And I've added the Easy Roads Demo Project and that gives us the additional assets such as the train tracks. Okay, so having got that, we can now see how to add that into our project. Because the problem is, is that the demo project isn't HD URP aware. So how do we go about doing this? So the first thing you need to do is add a secondary train rail connector. And this is like a crossroads for a train. So let's just select that and then we can shift click onto the terrain and create a crossroads. So you can see it's gone that kind of pink color, which means that it doesn't really understand what the rendering pipeline is. So that's a bit of a problem. And we're also getting a bit of a bug in Unity where the terrain is clipping. So what you do is you get the connector and then you pull the train tracks out from the connector. So now we can extend the rail tracks. That's great. So we've got a, a rail track and we just delete the connector to just leave us with the train tracks. Okay, now it's really important that you don't try and add the rail track at the moment because it just errors and then you get into all sorts of trouble. But from here on, we can just happily manipulate the train track as if it was a, a standard road type. So let's just get rid of um, this dangling track. So we just delete that object. Okay, so that leaves us with our slightly ugly purple railway track. So how do we set about fixing that up? So what we'll do is we'll go and find that railway track. So let's get it selected. And you can see underneath it, it consists of a train rail material. So you can see that's purple. So we just go into our render pipeline and we can upgrade the material. Now we could do all the project ones, but I just prefer to do them individually to make sure it's worked. So you can see now that part of that purple has gone away and the rails themselves have come look a bit better. Oh, there's a clipping problem that Unity has sometimes. It's a bit irritating, so I might have to fix that up. But let's have a look at the ground first before I do that. Well, sorry, the rail consists of concrete and ground. So let's just have a look at what concrete consists of. And we can see that that's another material. So we just select that. We can see here that railroad materials. So there's a few materials in here. So we can see that they're all non-URP ones. So let's just go and upgrade this selection first. Okay, that's good. And we can see that the railway and the concrete sleepers are now looking a bit better. And all the materials seem to be rendering okay, apart from the road, and we'll leave that. That's for the crossing, so we don't need that at the moment. So let's just sort out this ground material. So again, we select it and we can just upgrade it. And that's great. It looks like we've got a ground there. I remember the clipping is because we're in the terrain mode edit mode so it goes into the ground oh this unity clipping is annoying so just close the tab off and then just uh, re-add the tab 
That usually sorts out that clipping problem. Let's just uh, add the scene back. Go back to our railway track. And hopefully we won't have the clipping. Yeah, the clipping's not so bad. So a little bit of clipping into the ground, which is what we expect as Easy Roads is in the edit terrain mode. So it doesn't snap to the terrain quite yet. So, but the, the train track looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So now the um, concrete road that I had in place as a place marker for the railway track, we can actually put in the real railway track. So I've got a terrain here and I'm just sort of roughly guessing. I've got a little bit of a map overlay to help me, but it's not that accurate. So you can see here I've got a little raised terrain where the railway track is supposed to be on an embankment. So I can just manipulate the insertion points on the railway to, as you would do with any road, just sit them on top of the embankment and just drag them around, just manipulate them as you would any object. And then we can shift click to extend the road in this, or the railway track in this case and get us going down the map. Yeah, so just doing it by eye really. You can see on the left where the map overlay is offset slightly. So I know roughly what the track is trying to do. So I'm just trying to follow that along the terrain. I'm guessing it kind of goes around that hill. Or I'm going to make it go around the hill. Yeah, and just, let me just bring that in a little bit. Yeah, make a nicer curve. And there we have it. There's a bit of a railway track going through the scene. Don't worry that it's slightly elevated. As I say, it's not yet snapping to the terrain. We just put it basically where we want it. And the easy roads will sort that out once we build. So yeah, there's a little road. Quite happy with that. So that's easy roads with a train track in URP. I hope you found that useful. Thanks.